Okay, in this video I'm going to be working through an example of balancing a chemical equation. So let's see, the question says balance the following equation. H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid plus NaOH, um, produces Na2SO4 plus H2O. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to look at here is the number of each atom, right? Um, so I'm going to take a little space here and um, I'm going to write out the equation H2SO4, H, H2SO4. And I'm going to write out the second part of the equation here. Na2SO4 plus H2O. Okay, so how many hydrogens have we got here? We've got 1, 2, 3. So we've got H is equal to 3, 3 hydrogens. The S's, the sulfurs, there, I've got 1 there. S is equal to 1. Uh, let's look at the oxygens. We've got four oxygens here and one here so O is equal to, to five and sodium we've got one sodium only so Na is equal to one and now let's look at this part of the equation the second half you can put a little arrow there and well sodiums how many do we have we have two Na is equal to two, oops, sorry, two, and SO four. We've got sulfur is equal to one. Oxygen is equal to four. No, oxygen is equal to four plus one, which is five. And um, we've got hydrogens. We've got two hydrogens. So hydrogens are equal to. 2. Now if we compare the values here and here, we'll notice that the different numbers which I'm going to underline in red is the hydrogens, we've got 3 here and 2 here, the uh, sodiums, the sodiums, and the rest seem the same on both sides, so not much modification to those two then. So what we can do to try and balance this, the first step we can we can do is the sodium here seems to be double on this side. So the first thing I think we could do is 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 put a two before this, and therefore there'll be two sodiums on this side, and um, there'll be two sodiums on that side. So the sodiums now balance. So now on this side I've got two sodiums. Now let's look back to how that two sodiums has affected the other values. So now that I've put two sodiums there, we've got now got six ox no yeah six oxygens, and hydrogens has increased by one. So we've got four hydrogens, right? And if we look here, we've only got one oxygen. I mean five oxygens, and we've got two hydrogens. So the first thing I could do here is double the hydrogens and the oxygens, which I can do in one step. So if I put a two here, if I double the hydrogen and oxygen in this particular molecule, the change will cause, let's see, this will cause the hydrogens to increase to four. So there's gonna be four hydrogens now, and the number of oxygen is gonna to increase to one, two, three, four, five, six, so uh, six, we've got six here. So now let's compare the values again. And the ones which match, I'm gonna highlight in green. So sodiums, this matches. Um, uh, sulfurs, one on each side, this matches. Oxygens, uh, this matches. And hydrogens, oh, this matches. So basically my, my molecule now is balanced. I mean, my equation now is balanced. So therefore, the, the balanced chemical equation 
as you can see is H2SO4 plus 2NaOH sodium hydroxide produces Na2 Na2 SO4 sodium sodium sulfate sodium sulfate and two H2O's two H2O's and that's your balanced equation and and the charges if we look at the charges as well we can see that all of these molecules are are neutral molecules so the charges balance as well so that's basically how you'd balance that equation